Welcome, I'm Elizabeth Harper and I'm here with this week's Angel Messages. So what I'd like you to do is place one or both of your hands over your heart. Invite your angels to guide you to message one, two or three. A message that comes from their heart to yours. Okay. Now you can have all three messages if you'd like. You can also ask your angels to guide you, to inspire you to move your cursor along to a place in the video where there's a special message for you from them. Okay, so you get to double dip on messages, right? So today we're using just one word cards. These are the angel cards that have just a word and a little tiny picture on them. So that's what we're using. Okay, you ready? Message one, I'm gonna move these around. They're very small. So let's see what you can get first. Number one. Number one is creativity. This was in the box and it kept looking at me all the time and I was sort of avoiding it. I was, I was choosing the choosing the cards, but this was up there. It wanted to be seen. Now, when I'm looking at this, you see this little angel here. The wings almost look like a heart. And there's all these pictures on the wall, creativity. So I'm feeling that what this is saying is that your angels are telling you that it's time for you to go with your heart, open your heart up, see the bigger picture. There are lots of different choices for you to make. You need to open your mind to those different choices and maybe allow yourself to be creative when it comes to making the choice or taking the choice. So that creativity is not necessarily about you painting the pictures. It can be very much about how am I going to make this work? How am I going to make what my heart desires work for me? And when I'm looking at this, I'm feeling that you need to make that first step. There's almost a sense of what's the first step? Don't look at, you know, all those steps down the road because that could put you off. From taking that step. There's just a sense here of what do you need to do first that will help you to get from where you are now to where you want to be. Just that first step and that's the creativity of it. I'm feeling like you have an idea that there's something popping into your head and you're thinking I don't know if I can do it but there again there's that sense of creativity so with the creativity I feel that you need to call on your angels for help meditate and maybe have a pen with you and a, and a book or a piece of paper and ask them to guide you creatively as to what you need to do maybe write down one two three and then see what comes to you for each of those numbers and it could be that it's one, you do this, two, you do that, three, you do that, and it's consecutive. But allow yourself to be open to the inspiration of your angels. Okay, I feel that's it. Okay, number two, let's see what you get. All right, then, let's see, you have commitment. <laughs> now, let me just see what this image is for commitment. Well, now... The angel is sitting and looks like they're either writing or reading and it could be a contract, right? So, you know, with contracts, you don't have to believe anything I say, but I feel that we have contracts, that we come on a contract, that we've made agreements with people. And I feel that this is what this commitment's about. You've made a contract, you've made an agreement, you've said, yeah, I'll do that. I'll be the first one that creates this healing path. I'll be the first one to do this. I'll be the one you can rely on. I'm the responsible person. I'm committed. It's me. I'm the one. So I feel that you've made this commitment. You've made this agreement. You have a contract. And it's just to honor that. What are you committed to? What are you not doing at this moment? How do you commit to yourself? Maybe this is about saying yes or saying no. You know, sometimes when you say yes to others, you're saying no to yourself. So then it's looking at who is the commitment to? Is it to others or to yourself? 
So maybe it's good to commit to yourself first. And then look at what you need to do to support others. It's a little bit like the oxygen, right? Coming down in an aeroplane, the oxygen mask. You're always told to put your oxygen mask on first before you put it on for somebody else. So I feel that there's some aspect around that for this card. You know, about looking after yourself. That commitment can also be commitment to your health, commitment to your abundance, commitment to your job, commitment to a relationship. But at the end of the day, it's very much about commitment to yourself. One little thing that I'm seeing in here is this golden table and this violet and blue. And that's your guardian angel coming in. So feel that your angels are around you, that they're supporting you, they are committed to you. Maybe it's time for you to commit to them. Okay. So our final card, I don't know exactly what this is. It's a blank card. (laughs) This wanted to come out of the box. The blank card, whenever I see that, I feel that it's a surprise. It's saying your angels are around and they're bringing you a blessing. They're bringing you something that you just wouldn't have expected and it's going to be something wonderful. And as soon as it comes in, you'll be like, yes, this is exactly what I was waiting for. And that blank, that's what it's all about. It's like you being an open vessel for this love coming in, for this abundance, this fabulous energy coming in. So there's a blue angel with pink wings. So that is the balance of male and female. And blue, of course, is Archangel Michael. When Archangel Michael energy comes in, could be all kinds of different things but it's an aspect of your life purpose. So whatever it is that's coming in, you're meant to receive it. You're meant to experience it. It's part of your life path. So to me, this is something really amazing. This is something beautiful, wonderful, spectacular. I'm thinking of this on a physical level, as I usually do. But this could also be on an emotional level, spiritual level, a mental level. There are many different layers to us. So when I'm seeing this as a surprise or something amazing, it could be on so many different layers or just one. It could also be about release and healing. There's lots of different things that could this could be. But whatever it is, you are open to receive this abundance, this blessing from your angels. And when you do receive it, when you recognize it, say thank you. They love to receive that energy of gratitude from your heart to theirs. Okay, that's it for this week's angel messages. I hope you enjoyed them. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments below if the messages resonated for you. And please share this video with your friends. I'm sure they would love to have an angel message. I will see you next week. Lots of angel blessings to you.